The planners are user friendly um, for the students. They're, they're very clearly laid out. We have everything that we need in them. So we have our sort of a school rules and regulations, the calendar. We have different um, pages to help the students with their different subjects. I like the fact that we're able to change the cover every year so we can put different photographs at the front. We can change the actual format of those photographs so they change the shape of how they're laid out. So we can make it look a bit different every year. We have a Key Stage 3 planner and a Key Stage 4 planner which suits our school really well. So we're able to put different things in um, to suit the particular levels, GCSE grades, keywords and so on. I find the planners really useful from sort of two perspectives. As a teacher, um, a geography teacher, I've asked for pages with maps, world maps, maps of the UK. And if you haven't got time to get a set of atlases out, you can get the students to just get their planners, turn to those pages and point out the information that you need. There's also lists of keywords for the subjects, so that's good if you want to set spelling homeworks or if students ask you how to spell something, you can refer them to the planner. As a tutor, it's really good because I've got Year 10 students who've just been out on work experience and there's pages in there for sort of personal development that they can refer to. And I've just had um, some academic tutorials with parents and they've requested some careers interviews and there are pages in there that, that they can log those interviews and any information that they're given. We're able to put in all the important documents that we think the students and the parents need to um, be aware of. Obviously the planner is our main communication with our parents, the idea is that the, the parents see that regularly. So we've put in there our relationship charter which is anti-bullying policy, um, we put in our uniform rules and regulations in there, homework um, programme for Key Stage 3. Um, and we have different areas in the planner where parents can sign and we've found that recently for us to put that underneath the page that states everything about the uniform is actually a really good tool for us because later in the year if a student then chooses not to wear the correct uniform and if the parent supports their child and not us we're able to produce the, that page in the planner and say actually you did sign this at the beginning of the year. Um, so it's a great form of communication backwards and forwards with our different policies and regulations. Also as a tutor, sometimes you want to have correspondence that's not urgent with parents at home, so you can write a note and because planners have got places for parents and tutors to sign on a weekly basis, it means there's a dialogue between tutor and parents. We use the planners in PE because it's got our key words in there, we've had skeletons in there in the past as well so pupils can highlight key bones, muscles and also it's got the levels in there so when we give a pupil a level they can then refer back to that and then it gives them the opportunity to develop and understand of what they need to do within certain topics and subjects in order to progress their own skills, um, in order for them to actually improve their levels. So it focuses a little bit on independent learning as well. One of the things where I think we've found really useful about the planners is that they are a, a resource that the students have got in every single lesson. So they might have formulas in there, they might have key terms in there. They're really useful for students to be able to rehearse information that they need and we're guaranteed as teachers that they've got access to that information wherever they are, at home or at school.